Welcome to WCI's presentation of ClickView. Today we're going to be talking about how to import data in from SQL Server and use it into a ClickView dashboard. So as you can see right here, our ClickView dashboard that you might have seen from one of our previous webinars, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how we got the data into it uh, through the script editor available in ClickView. So to add or to create a new uh, data source, it's very simple. You go to File, Edit Script, and as you can see here, we have a number of different items. This first section is going to be our security section that we'll talk about in a later webinar. And we're going to delete that for right now. And as you can see below, we are going to go ahead and have our SQL connection. Now, currently I'm connecting to a 32-bit local DB, local DB, which is my ODBC driver, with my user ID is SA and my password is SA. And then as you can see, I've used, SQL, uh, I've used Click View to write some simple select statements to go ahead and create my models. Let's go ahead and delete this and recreate it, and we'll show you exactly how it works. We'll go ahead and delete this. As you can see at the bottom, we have a number of different data sources. You can use table files or click view files or web files, and all this will be covered in a later session. But what I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and use my ODBC database connect driver. I'm going to go ahead to connect. Up pops my ODBC driver. We'll go ahead and choose my local DB. Use my username and password. Test the connection. And as you can see, my test is successful. We'll go click OK. And then what I'm going to do, as you see that it automatically puts in the information that I need to connect to my uh, data source. I'll go ahead and go to select. And from the select statement, I have a number of different options, so I can change my database. We're going to go to the classic model SQL database. You can see I can also change owner. And then I have a listing of my tables and views years as well. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to my customers table and go ahead and create a star and go ahead and click OK. And so now you see that I have a very easy select statement in. Now I can also do something a little bit more complex. So I can go into select again. I can change my database to the classic model. Go to my employees. And so from here, I'm going to go ahead and choose employee number. I'm going to choose uh, first name, last name from employees table. And then so right now I'm writing this. However, I want to do some modification to the SQL script. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the table. I can choose the different tables. I can also set up my different columns and see what they're going to be. I can also do previews and blobs, right, if I have any information like that. And so here's a preview of my data. I'm going to click OK. Now the great thing about this is that I now want to change these so as they're taught, as they're uh, uh, dealt with in the field names in ClickView. So I'm going to go ahead and modify this statement. And I can do it just simply by typing into the field. I can even do some basic SQL commands. So I'm going to concatenate the first name with a space and last name. And we're going to call that employee name. And then I can go ahead and do a number of different things. So at the, at the end point, well, what we get is we have some very SQL statements. I'm going to copy our original text here. And as you can see, I'm doing a number of different things. Now, as it turns out, what this happens here, if we go ahead and save this and close out the edit script, we can come back in and we can reload this, the text. And as you can see, it gives me an idea of what I'm doing. I can then go to my table viewer and bring this over right here. And what ClickTech automatically does is creates a semantic diagram that says what I'm joining to, what items I'm um, 
what fields I'm joining to create my star schema so that I can then interface with them as well. Now, okay, and you can also do, you can do an auto layout, which kind of breaks it up. You can do a source table view, which does that as well. Copy this image, or you can export the structure as an image so that you can share it with uh, your fellow developers. Or you can actually export it as an image, which is a PNG image. The structure is used for click view as well. Now, as you, as you can tell, you can click on the different items and see what tables they're coming from, right? So we can see that this product code right here is joined to another table here. Now what I can also do is I can also come in and edit my script again and join these tables using the keyword join. And it's going to join these two tables in particular and uh, on, on a certain path. So if you had to join on uh, fields that weren't named exactly the same, then you could do that here as well. Uh, you can do inner joins, outer joins, or full joins as well. So that concludes how to import data into SQL Server. Check back with our other webinars to see how you can import data from Excel and other data sources. Thank you.